Now we're demonstrating the harmonies section of the program. Let's load in a song so we have a song with a melody to work with. The uh, harmonies in Band in a Box apply to either the melody or the soloist track. So a melody is obviously usually a single note uh, type of melody and to that we can add a harmony. So this is something you may already be familiar with. Uh, so right now Right now you're hearing a melody without a harmony, and so this is going on the melody track. The harmonies go on in this, these locations, so if you press the M, you'll get a melody harmony. The T applies to the through part, which is something that you can play on your MIDI keyboard and it'll harmonize in real time. And the through also applies to the soloist part. So let's harmonize this melody using the built-in harmonies that come with the program by pressing the melody button. Now, if you just press that, now you're hearing a real-time harmony applied to the melody. And you can see the harmony on the screen. You're, seeing, you're hearing uh, three saxes play this. When it's blue, that's a, a regular harmony. Whenever it does a red color, it means it's a passing harmony, which is uh, usually based on a, a different type of chord than the regular chord that's going on. So you can just uh, click on various harmonies here. Now you're hearing uh, West Montgomery harmony, which is a jazz guitar and harmony, uh, something called Paul Schaefer, or Nashville three voices, etc. You can just uh, ex experiment picking, uh, picking a different ones. have up to three instruments in your harmony. For example, this George Shearing uh, has piano, vibes, and guitar. This one has clarinet, saxes, and guitar. Here's one Earl Garner, which has the famous Earl Garner sound, which is, of course, uh, uh, good, uh, piano playing with octaves with two notes in between. And it's also 8BA, which means an octave up. So you can try experimenting with uh, lots of different um, harmonies. Now we're going to show you a bit about how the harmonies are made and what channels they use, etc. Here's the main window of Band in a Box that has the channel set up. So you can see the bass, piano, drums, etc. all need a channel. So this is eight channels taken up already. Now the melody uses one channel, <clears throat> but if we want to support the concept of three possible instruments, we need to have two additional channels assigned to the melody. So the melody has channel four already, and then that's considered harmony channel A, and then there's also two additional channels assigned to the melody, so you get 11, 12, 13, and 14. Obviously you can customize these if you need from the 16 channels, but these are the defaults. And the through channel also has its home channel of five and two additional channels. That's how we can separate the information when it's being sent out. Uh, the melody could be three different instruments, but it'll be sent out on channels 4, 11, and 12. So now that we've got the channels happening, let's create uh, a new harmony and, and we're going to apply it to this melody. Uh, so the first thing to do, we'll turn this uh, existing harmony off and when I create a harmony I like to have the music playing in the background so I can uh, hear what it's going to be sounding like. I also like to press the right mouse button key over the piano to mute it so we really only uh, hear a, a clear uh, sound of what we're trying to get at. So you can press this melody button and we want to move to a, an unused harmony. And since we supply about 100 with the program, we can take uh, the first unused one we find. And an unused harmony can be edited by pressing the edit button. Here you can see it's got a title, so we can call it a demo harmony by typing that in. And you can type in a memo here. <clears throat> now, you can see that all the blank harmonies are in fact in assigned a default of having a melody associated with them. And what we'll be doing here is, is first of all selecting instruments for our harmonies, A, B, and C, and then we'll be assigning these various variables to them. What we're going to do is uh, 
create the shearing harmony from scratch. Shearing has a piano, it has uh, vibes, and it has a jazz guitar. So let's make the first thing we do assign these instruments, which are acoustic piano. Notice that uh, whenever we want it to be updated, we'll, we'll press that update button. So because this is channel A, this is channel B, channel C, currently this harmony, the only thing enabled is the voice one, which is a melody on channel A. So that's why we're hearing nothing but the melody. So now we're going to assign uh, vibes to uh, the B channel, and then jazz guitar to the um, C channel. Okay, first thing we want is now this is one part harmony, two part harmony, three part harmony, and four part harmony. So we're going to enable the four parts, and we can update that. Now you can hear what we've got is a four part harmony going on, which is all on piano. Now our goal here is now we want the vibes to double the melody. And um, by double by doubling the melody, uh, we can use one of these channels which is devoted to doubling the melody. We want the vibes to double the melody, so we'll set this to B. Now, this would determine what octave we want it to occur in. So let's update that. So you can hear the vibes now doubling the melody. And we want the vibes to double the melody right in the same octave. So we can leave this setting at zero. Then we can go on to the <clears throat> concept that we want the jazz guitar to double the melody as well. So the jazz guitar is C. We want the C to be an octave below. So we can set this to minus one. So now you can hear in real time, you can hear that effect of the jazz guitar uh, doubling the um, melody. Now, uh, we can deal with some of these things. The, the piano is playing uh, a four-part harmony. And it's doing it in a, in a perfect, um, close harmony. Now in harmony, you may be familiar that there's a concept of drop two voicings and drop four voicings. This is the first voice, second, third, and fourth. So a drop two voicing means that this second voice would play an octave lower. And that usually happens only in a certain range. So let's request this voice here to drop minus 1. So this means that over this range of notes, from 0 to 127, which is effectively the entire range of notes, the piano will always drop down a note, and you can, uh, an octave, and you can actually see now the lowest note going on here is not actually the melody, it's the dropped 2 voicing. So you might say, that drop two voicings really only occur when the melody is fairly high. So uh, let's do that and we'll say that we only want it to drop when the melody note is 68 or higher. Remembering that 60 is what middle C is. So that we're talking about eight semitones higher than a C, which is about a G sharp. So when the melody is higher than a G sharp, we'll get a drop two voicing. So similarly, we could apply a drop for voicing uh, if we wanted to do the same process here. But for this sharing harmony, we'll just do a, a drop uh, to voicing. Now, we can have an um, octave uh, double here if we want. And, and, and we can say we'd like the melody to be doubled an octave below. So now we've, now we've just added yet another voice to this. So this is this melody voice which has an octave being doubled, an octave below, three additional voices, an additional melody being doubled by vibes, melody being doubled by jazz guitar. Now, we may like the sound of the harmony, but we may decide that <coughs> it's overall too loud. <coughs> and that the velocities of the notes need to be adjusted. So here's the velocity boost, and let's assign velocity boost to all of them. We'll decide that given that the range is from 0 to 127, we'll reduce the velocity of the melody, which is the same as the volume, 
by six, and these inner voices we're going to reduce by a lot more than that. We'll put minus 15 to all of them. And you can tweak these sort of things uh, as you'd like them. But what, remembering, we need to press the update button. That's better. The whole harmony now is quieter, and the, specifically the inner voices are quieter. In addition, there's additional parameters that you could apply to this by pressing the more button. You could uh, affect the lowest harmony note, which would, which would mean that uh, no, harmony notes won't be created below a certain note because you don't want harmonies, for example, if somebody's playing a really low note, 36. Usually, uh, this hasn't been necessary on most harmonies. This is a useful setting called overall harmony octave. You can have, if you're creating a harmony that in general would want to play a melody an octave higher, you would set this to one. And we did that on the Earl Garner harmony, for example, because he would typically pay a melody an octave up. And if you're doing a harmony that spans a couple of octaves, you'd probably want to apply this setting. The particular shearing harmony leaves this as zero. And this is a nice setting to quickly adjust the whole volume of the whole harmony. We didn't find that necessary because we did it uh, with customized values. But basically we finished our, uh, our uh, harmony here. So uh, what we've now created can be, um, can be uh, is part of our uh, setup. And uh, you know, it's ready to, uh, ready to go. And if you look at our uh, list of harmonies now, it's been added to the list. Now this whole file, uh, uh, hundreds of harmonies, is saved in a file uh, with an extension of HAR, uh, which is typically called default.har, but you can um, use these menu items in Band in a Box to edit a harmonies file. Uh, that's the only one we currently have, but we similarly, when you're in, when you're in editing the current harmony file, you can uh, save the harmony file uh, as or something like that and then when we go you you could uh, decide that you want to edit a harmonies file you could um, uh, edit this one and, and then you would be sure to be working with a customized set of files similarly if you happen to like a particular harmony you can export it as a single harmony file which is called uh, this one we, we, we could call it the demo and then it would save as an H1 file and then that could be imported at some point. A nice way of copying and pasting harmonies, this might have been a, a faster way. Let's say we like this harmony, we wanted to make one similar to it. We could just choose copy and then go to a new harmony, 113, and then choose paste and then we'll get all the uh, same settings. And Then we can uh, maybe make one an octave up by pressing the more button overall harmony octave so now we've made a George Shearing type harmony that's an octave up and uh, we could do additional edits to it if we were interested maybe let's put in that drop two voicing that we talked about because that, that type of thing would be necessary because the whole uh, harmony is a little bit too uh, high right now. Now it's spread out uh, a little bit farther. So anyway, you can have fun with these harmonies. Of course, remember, remember that uh, if, we, if we mute the melody part here, I can show you... Uh, You can uh, just play along on the uh, keyboard uh, in real time and it will uh, uh, follow exactly what you play. Etc. That concludes the demonstration of the uh, harmonies aspect of Band in a Box.